Welcome back to Remote Control, my new game show, where the studio audience is playing havoc with the life of 27-year-old Chris from Essex. They're all wearing masks to preserve their anonymity. Now, Chris has no idea that is the star of my show or that everything that happens tonight is being filmed on hidden cameras. We've also got a camera and a producer in his flat. Now, producer Dave, what, <laughs> what have you got for us this time? You're having a sandwich. Mm. What have you yeah, had? Nice. That looks nice. What's in there? What you got? Beef. Uh, I've got beef. Beef, beef and sandwich. protein shake. It's got <laughs> good taste in food. A little bit of orange juice. Um, I've thought I've seen his laundry basket in here. Oh, um, yeah. Not that I really want to do this, but I figure we could find out a little bit more about him by what he's um, been wearing lately. Oh, look, little um, Star Wars socks. Nice. Star Wars socks. Um, Fantastic. Some. Quite a childish streak with the yeah. Star Wars socks and the comic what? book pants, which maybe ties in with him being a practical joker and playing jokes on people at work. He's got his laptop here, oh, so I'm going to have internet a Internet history. Look at his internet history. Hmm, internet history. Yeah? Yeah? Yes. They would yeah. like you to look at his internet so. history, Dave. Do you know how to use it? Oh, I know how to use a computer. <laughs> so, um... Did you, just, did you just log into his account? Do we know his password? Didn't have a password. Foolish. Didn't need a password, OK. <laughs> uh, and it, internet history... Anything dodgy on it, please let there be some porn. <laughs> he's got... He's got nothing on it. What you got? Just... Oh, come on. He's wiped his history. He's wiped his history. <laughs> a clear... A clear indictment. <laughs> he's, he's been doing something dodgy. Um, that's it. That's his kitchen. And it's quite nice. Um, Let's have a look at the bathroom. Yeah, yeah, no, no let's okay. go. Let's go up to the bathroom. Let's have a look. That is fantastic, <laughs> ass. <sighs> Thanks. Uh, right, bathroom. So that's pretty clean. Like, what have we got? Guess? Presumably, quite a few hair products and that kind of thing. No, it's nice enough stuff. It's a clean rimmed bath, shall we say? He's got a clean rim. That's that's always good. For <laughs> He's that. got a clean how's the, uh, how's the sink? Uh, the sink. The sink. Is he generally quite clean? Yeah, he, he seemed quite meticulous. Pretty it's pretty clean. Oh, hang on. <laughs> oh, God. That's a fingernail, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> nice. Can you give, oh. a little, give a little bend? A little bend. <laughs> nice. So not, not as meticulous as... <laughs> oh, maybe it lights up here. Oh. All right. Well, Lose I'm it, Dave. Really That's disgusting. Done. All right, thank you, Dave. We'll come back to you in a bit. Thank you, thank you, Dave. So, I'm now going to give Chris's friend Sibley his cue. Now, the cue is to suggest to Chris that after the night that they've had, they're better off going to the shop, buying some beers, and then going back to Chris's flat. What do you, my lovely audience, want to happen when they get to the shop? Either Chris will be the shop's 5,000th customer and win a basket full of goodies, or you can have him framed for shoplifting. <laughs> Voice over man those options again, please. So, will you choose option A, he's the shop's lucky 5,000th customer, or option B, he's accused of shoplifting? Audience, it's time for you to take control. Remote control, so cast your votes now. The votes have been counted. <laughs> We now have 60% of you. 60% of you have chosen that he gets framed for shoplifting. OK, so let's go over to the shop and make it happen. Hello, shop. Can you hear us in the shop? Faye, give us a wave if you can hear us. Faye, can you hear us? Give us a wave if you can. <laughs> Stand blankly and do nothing if you can hear us. Faye, can you hear me, Faye? And hold your finger a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Faye, if you can hear me, I need you to give us a wave. Faye, give me a wave. Hey! That's another thing. All right. Okay, so uh, we are going with a shoplifting scenario. You can lose the sashes and the hats. Repeat, lose the sashes and the hats. We are going shoplifting. We are not going 5,000th customer. Get rid of them. 
Okay, so I now need to give the cue to Sibley. That's Sibley there in the orange shirt, uh, who's going to suggest that they now leave after the night they've had. Rocky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I Cheers. I'm actually going to myself before going. Very nice. You're looking very friendly. That's Sibley's bag. That might be important in a minute. And off they go. So they're going to be leaving this bar, and the shop they're heading to is only a couple of doors down. Sibley knows to make sure they go into the shop. Our shop actors are waiting. So here's how this is going to work. All night, Chris's friend Sibley has been carrying a bag. You can see him holding that bag there. And in a moment, Sibley is going to get the cue to leave the shop, but leaving the bag containing stolen goods with Chris. So once Sibley is gone, Chris is going to be accused of shoplifting. All right, so let's go over to the shop and make it happen. So, Faye, who is our shop assistant actor. Faye, can you go over and give Sibley his cue, please? Yeah, we've got James and Hannah coming around tomorrow, aren't they? Hello, can I help you? James and Hannah. Uh, we're all right, Faye. It's pretty low number here. That's the thing. She, my blood is kicking off. Time. That was his okay. cue. Run back and meet Toe in ER. Look, seriously, take that. Hold my bag. Right. I'll see you soon. He's lipping off yeah, to the loo. Is this your loading? Default. Yeah. yeah, yeah, standard. Yeah, I'll see you there. So the shopkeeper won't accuse him of anything until he comes to the till to actually pay for what he's got in the basket. <laughs> and here we go. Hey, that's Thank it, thank you. You sure? Come here, yeah. You sure that's, that's it? That's everything I've been yeah. But what about the stuff that you put in your bag? I don't put anything on it. It's not No, I've seen you just now. Just put something in your bag. Yes. What? Right. You're taking that from there. That's not your why, bag. Why would I take? Why, why no. would I take away? That's right. Why would you take panty liners and peas? <laughs> yes, sir. Why would you? Why are you doing panty liners and peas? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, it's not a lot of that. Thank you. Look the door. Look, that's, that's my, my mate. That's my no, no, I'm gonna, have to, I'm gonna have to call the police here. Fair, you need to call the police. Yeah, so, call the police, please, Faye. Because I, I promise. I have not done anything wrong. Okay, For a man to nick panty liners, <laughs> please. <laughs> so the police have been called. I swear to you. Well, look, that's your bag, isn't it? That's not that's my mate's bag. He ran off. Do you know what? I've, I think I've seen your face here before. You've been in the shop before, haven't you? Never been in the shop before. I think you have. Never. Because we've had a lot Okay, of the police should be coming in in about 20 face. seconds. It, your face does ring a bell. Okay, can we yeah. send in the police? They should be just around the corner. Here they come. Are they coming in? Of course, there'll be some CCTV footage to answer this once and for all. My name's Chris Corbett. I'm happy to look at the security cameras to prove my innocence, because I did not... We've got the security cameras. We're going to sort this out now. Yeah. We'll just have to look at this, OK? And just... Yeah. Just stay here. Yeah, because I did not put them in there. No, 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 Will you choose option A, an apology and a pint from Lee? Or option B, the barman asks him to pay for drinks he hasn't even ordered? Will you choose option A, our single girl comes on to Chris? Or option B, the girlfriend accuses him of pinching her bum and sets her boyfriend on him?